What's up guys, hope you're doing great, it's your boy Kobe Shots. In today's video, I'm going to color grade some shots from one of my favorite YouTubers, Big Ja. He shoots comedy skits and he posts them on YouTube. So when I found this kit, I decided to test my burnt amber color grading LUTs that I've provided over here on my YouTube channel already. So check it out down in the description below. And I'm going to test it out on these shots. And I want you to follow along as I color grade them so that we get the results that you're seeing underneath the original shot. Let's get right into it. So we're going to do everything here in Adobe Premiere Pro and um, looking at these shots, these are actually segmented. I did them myself. Um, they are from one whole skit and this skit was shot in just one location, one spot. All right. And uh, what I noticed is that um, there are a lot of greens in there, which I love so much because I love to include greens when I, anytime I'm shooting outdoor. It makes the color grading process so much fun, all right? So in this shot, you notice that uh, there's a reflector bouncing back some light in the face of the actress. And over here in this actor's face, there's a bounce again. But in the background, you notice that it's all white. And comparing his skin tone to the background, he's kind of dark. And um, we are going to uplift that after we've added the LUT, all right? And also in this shot, the same shot of uh, this particular one but in a different activity okay so same shot with the same elements the greens and uh, the white areas and all of that but what I'm very thankful for is that there was a bounce with the use of a reflector so it's going to help get the color grading LUT to identify the skin tones from the shadows okay all right also here we have yet another dark skin this is big guy himself and um, in this particular shot, we have a two shot and you're going to notice how well the color grading LUT appears or um, affect skin tones as well as the environment. And of course, another shot of the other actor looking in a different direction. Okay, so let's get right into it. So anytime I am color grading, looking at these shots, all right? Um, the first thing I do every time is that I add an adjustment layer. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So after I place the adjustment layer on top of the shots, I duplicate it so that I can have yet another one to play around with if I need to use yet another adjustment layer. Okay, so let's start with the shot without any individual, any other skin tone, it's just the environment, all right? So I'm going to hit the color tab and uh, with the creative tab, I'm gonna hit on browse and find my LUT. Okay, so burnt amber LUTs is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the first um, LUT that you can find in the pack. Okay, so this is how it looks originally. And if I move across, because I stretched the whole adjustment layer across all shots, you're going to find that it plays along quite well. And that's because the skin tones are well exposed as well as the environment. And the same thing applies to this particular part. But you notice that the blues are actually affecting the dark areas like um, the eye sockets as well as um, the chin area. And some areas that are in shadows, you see the blue affected and it's not really depicting the skin tone as much. And we are going to fix that. Okay, so let's start with the environment. I'm going to actually play with the shot itself. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to, of course, open up some shadows to bring out some details and reduce the highlight. OK, and I'll increase the contrast. I find myself normally doing this every time. All right. So we are going to go to the saturation. All right. Under the creative. And I'm going to push it a little bit this way. OK. And I'll push the vibrance, not too much, but somewhere over here. OK. All right. It's going to be very different when we have our model or the actor in the shot. OK. So if, for instance, I select the lumetri color uh, properties that I have applied over here onto this shot, you're going to notice how tremendous the skin tones are going to show up in vibrance okay um this may be fine but i think that it looks like a lot that's just been slapped on the shot and we need to create more separation okay i'm going to apply the same thing over here on this shot and let's see how it looks it looks decent but the skin tone is too much to the magenta side all right so we're going to fix that as well let's place the lumetri color properties again 
on this shot and it's similar to the shot because the same activity the same actor okay onto the next shot we're gonna place the properties once more and you notice how vibrant the skin tone looks with the dark skin and uh, you notice that the bounds of the reflector or from the sun is really much um, involved in this particular shot as compared to um, this shot okay and you notice how vibrant and how much punch you get with the dark skin tone even though he's of the same kind of complexion as big jar okay all right and that's because there's more exposure over here and the skin tones are actually well lit that's basically the difference okay so in this shot i'm gonna apply it again as well and we get this okay all right so let us begin okay so um i basically feel that um if i want to match these shots my priority is to ensure that with the actor in the shot I can separate everything and I can be confident that it's going to run across all the shots. So I'm not going to alter anything over here. I'm going to do that to this particular shot so that I can also know that the skin tones are also um, under operation, if you get what I mean. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up um, a color with a selective color tool. So hue versus hue. And I'm going to pick the green area and i'm going to alter the properties all right if i send it upwards it looks like it's in autumn and that's not what we want because it looks like a beginner color grading a shot so i'm going to send it downwards and it looks so much better and looks real and there's a lot of um you know separation from the environment to the skin tone of the model so if you check before and after before and after you notice that we are making a lot more progress now okay so with the saturation i'm going to hit on the green again and i'm going to push the saturation upwards to bring in more vibrance just like so not too much somewhere over there's just fine and i'm going to alter the hue just a little bit to bring back some bit of warmth and I think I'm quite okay with so far where I am. All right, but this doesn't end there. I'm going to further go down here, okay? And um, with my color wheels match, uh, okay? I'm going to bring some blues into the mid-tones. Then I'm going to add some highlights, some warmth in the highlights like that. Okay, not so much. Then into the shadows, I'm going to push in some reds, just like so. Perfect. Like that. But it looks like it has reverted back to how it was and everything looks like a lot that has been just slapped on. Okay. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to further alter the hue versus hue. Okay. Then I can create more separation from the background. So somewhere over here looks just about right let's bring it down no sorry upwards a little bit this looks right and i'm going to go back to the color correction where i'm going to introduce some shadows in there a little bit increase the whites like that then add a bit more contrast or probably reduce the exposure and this is all about creative choice, what you make of the shot and how you feel about it. But the last is to introduce some colors that you can play along with and, um, I mean, give your shot the creative style that you want, okay? All right, I can further do something with the shadow tint and the highlight tint, okay? So the wheel over here with the shadow tint, I'm going to introduce some bit of, uh, let's say, some blues in there to neutralize what we did before and um, add some reds into the highlights just a little bit to make it look more like it's in summer all right so that's what we have now let's look at a quick before and after so this is before and this is after We've made a whole lot of progress. All right. So to the next shot, all right, I'm not going to apply everything that I did over here to this particular shot, but 
we can give it a try anyway. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the loom tree color. Okay, properties. And I am going to exchange this or replace it with that and see how it looks. Oh, it looks better. It looks so much better. Initially, I thought it wasn't going to look good, but I think I like the look of it right now. So I think what it needs is a little bit more exposure to be introduced to the shots. And that looks good. And probably let's crash the shadows a little bit. Add some bit more contrast and probably a little bit of saturation. Not too much. Something that would match this shot in its saturation. And I think you're looking good. All right. So the same thing applies to this shot, all right, where I'm going to um, introduce the grade to this shot. And I think you're looking good so far. This looks so adorable. So, so, so adorable. Beautiful. And I don't have to actually do anything at this point because it's of the same shots, the same shot size, same elements, same framing and everything is just the same in composition as well. Okay, so let's move on to this next shot, which is very distinct from all the shots that we've played around with. Okay, so with this particular shot, what I'm going to do is I am going to replace, of course, the properties of the Lumetri color with what we started before and this is how it looks okay if you compare this shot to that you notice that the bounds of the reflector was sent a little bit backward because of um, two subjects in the shot and the camera had to zoom out all right so that's what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce some exposure to the shot but first of all let's open up the shadows because it's too much crashed all right and i'm going to add a little bit of an exposure just like so then i'll crush the shadows to add more contrast to the shot okay it looks quite good but let's look at how best we can augment our hue over here so if i should send the hue slightly upward let's say this way i think it looks a lot better this looks so much better and of course Let's just apply the properties over here with the vibrance and the illumination that we added to that shot to this one. And every shot is matched. Everything looks good. Everything looks perfect. But I remember I said that I wanted to do something about the magenta over it. But after I pushed in some vibrance in there, I've noticed that it looks quite good and I can, yeah, can stay with this. So basically, that's how my color grading LUTs, the burnt amber color grading LUTs that I provided over here on my YouTube channel earlier before. That's how it looks. And it looks so good over here on each shot. Okay, what I forgot to actually change was this particular shot where from the onset, I have a different look from this. And I did this particular look having the subject or my actress in the shot. So I'm going to equally apply the lumetri color details over here or the properties and you're going to have a matching shot across all the shots so the look is consistent and it looks well done all right so thank you very much for watching this video to the very end if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button so that you'll be always notified anytime i upload a new video over here on my youtube channel so Check out Big Jazz Short Skits, check out his channel, subscribe to his channel, and show him some love, just as much as you show me love. Until the next video, I'm going to catch you later. Have a wonderful day. See ya.